What I'm about to show you is something you will not expect. A sculpture very much like Mount Rushmore has appeared in Cornwall ahead of the G7 summit. This is what they call Mount Recyclemore. Two people have created an extraordinary sculpture that are entirely made of e-waste. It's 53 million tons of, of e-waste that's created every year, of which the G7 contributes about 40% of that currently. For your information, there are more than 250,000 news about e-waste, but none of them are taken seriously by our people. This problem? has affected the environment, including us as a human. Lead, cadmium, and arsenic is a main chemical substances that can be found in EVs. These substances can give negative effects toward human health. We might not know or see this in a short period of time, but it is a long time effect. Lead can cause brain damage while cadmium can cause cancer. Arsenic will lead to skin, lung, liver, and kidney cancer. Highly affected of arsenic is fatality. The question is, what is EWIS? EWIS is an electrical or electronic devices that is being discarded. It is including working or broken equipment that have been thrown into cabbage. The problems will continue to arise year by year as our technology now. A lot of people use electronic devices to communicate, to learn, and to read news nowadays. This is why we do this community project. Our objective are to spread awareness about e-waste among community, to educate the community about the harmful effects of misconduct of e-waste, and last but not least, to educate the community on how and where to dispose EVs with a proper care. Okay. Okay. Well, in order to spread the awareness, we make e brochure and also video. We spread the videos and also e brochures to media socials like Instagram and also TikTok. This survey was held for four weeks, starting from the 3rd May until the 30th May 2021 through social media, which is Instagram. In the first week, we posted a poll and a quiz regarding to e-waste on Instagram story. And the result of the poll shows that 73% of respondents know about e-waste, while 74% of respondents answer the quiz correctly. In the second week, we posted the list of e-waste on our Instagram story and there were a total of 454 viewers. Then in the third week, the implication of e-waste was posted and there were a total of 209 viewers recorded. Lastly, in week 4, Ways to Manage e-waste was posted and there were a total of 430 persons that view the post. Uh, Okay, cara yang terbaik eh, untuk masyarakat 
uh, first tadi uh, dia kena identify kat mana tempat buangan e-waste yang berdaftar dengan jawatan lain kita yang uh, memang kita tahu dia akan uruskan dengan betul Then uh, orang awam masa kita ni kita tak boleh sewenang-wenangnya TV tu kita buka ambil dia punya pula dalam tu kan uh, Kat situ pun dah dikira sebagai salah lah sebab kita tak ada kebenaran untuk buat semua tu Macam komputer kadang ada orang nak ambil dia punya CPU lah apa dalam tu kan uh, Tak boleh so dia kena hantar full uh, item uh, ke pusat yang tersenarai dalam jawatan lansi kita dan mungkin senarai tu akan bertambah Ha, sebab disebabkan lambakan e-waste sekarang ni nak ha, buat collection secara menyeluruh lah ha, Then ha, tu saja yang kita perlu buat, kita hantar ke tempat yang betul-betul di berdaftar lah okay, So today I am going to send my e-waste to the e-waste center This is all the e-waste that I got So let's go okay, So all set we are going to send the e-waste. So we have arrived to the center uh, of the e-waste. I am going to send this. Okay, let's go. There are a total of 126 collectors and recovery facilities around Malaysia under Department of Environment. There are 5 in Kedah, 34 in Selangor, 16 in Kuala Lumpur, 9 in Sabah, 2 in Sarawak, 10 in Penang, 2 in Pernis, 16 in Johor, 5 in Malacca, 8 in Putrajaya, 4 in Terengganu, 5 in Kelantan, 4 in Pahang, 10 in Perak and 5 in Negeri Sembilan. This is how we secure our health. This is how we manage e-waste.